the vlog. Yes, where indeed am I? Uh, because I'm so excited about my membership of the Sky Cinema Club, uh, my review for this month, this is the clue. I am on the planet Arrakis. Actually, I am in Fuerteventura. A hop and a skip by ferry from, I think the camera's going to fall over, from Lanzarote, where there are these magnificent sand dunes. So, what else is in the vlog? Lots on clothes. I show you how little I pack, so you can watch me unpacking. I share with you what shopping I've done, and I take you to places in Lanzarote where I haven't been before. I thought as I unpacked editing ferociously, I'll show you how little I can't weigh with. I don't think it's so little this time, but it will give you some packing tips. Anyway, basically, because I have a bit of work to do on this trip, my laptop and plugs and all that palaver is in there. And the big bag I bought in Lanzarote last time, which is my beach bag, was my other carry-on. Don't fall over. Which um, has got, oh, everything. Sunnies, vitamins, all the usual crap that you... I don't put precious things in the suitcase. I don't trust them. Um, you know, it's supposed to get gets lost or hold. Um, so I'll quickly show you. So this obviously I won't need here. This is what I needed. Actually didn't even need it this morning. I didn't get on the plane in shorts. I did have my favourite Lucy Dodwells, my favourite Lucy Dodwells. So I've got these in case it gets nippy now the temperature it's 30 degrees today but it will be going down to 21 22 in a few days when the sahara winds go so you never know i might need these if they're not too dirty so all summery clothes and that is just perfect if it suddenly gets a chill on which i don't think it will anyway this time i brought two pairs of shorts because I lived in shorts last time. So these very manky old ones, but who cares? They're great for the beach. And I still have these smarter ones. So that's essential, sleep mask. All right, you don't need to see all my underwear and everything, do you? Um, do you remember this, my gorgeous top that I bought here last time with the gold? Um, and I found these old. These are going to be perfect for the evening. Little linen trousers. I will show you when I'm dressed up in them because they look much better on than off. But they are lovely. Top tip, top tip girls, boys. I have this gorgeous scarf that somebody gave me. And I can wear it if I so wish. If I'm just lolling down to the pool or lolling to the beach. Oh yes, I'm going to have massages on the beach. Wonderful Chinese lady. Um, so there's a sarong, but I can also use it as a headscarf. Do, 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 do. Um, little nighty, because it's hot. Swimmies. Now, I brought my mini shorts, because if I go swimming and the sea's very cold, I need to get into something dry. I don't like a cold, wet tummy. I don't know about you. So those will be packed um, so I can get rid of the wets. The wets, you know what I mean. Oh yes, now this is something I bought last time I was here. Do you remember I got these, my hippie trousers? Well, I'll be wearing those in the evening or to yoga. And then I found this great top to go with them. I'm going to have to borrow an iron because these are all, maybe they'll hang out. New dress, new dress, new dress. I will get a photo of this. This is from Palava. I'm going to do a whole thing on Palava when they're ready for me to show you the other dress they've sent me. 
but this is one of my new frocks for the summer. God knows if I'll ever wear it here. People don't dress up a lot. It's very casual. It's not like Ibiza, dressy up, dressy up. Um, do you remember this? I bought this here. So that's going to be worn with shorts. Actually, I haven't got that much. This is another new one, gifted again by John Lewis this time. This I'm more likely to wear here. This is ancient. This is my very, very favourite, favourite shirt from Australia. So I haven't got that much, have I? We're nearly at the end. Two pairs of shorts and loads of tops. Um, this is really useful if I go on a boat. I'm thinking of going on a ferry to Fuerteventura. So that would be great to pack. Always pack something like that. Another bikini. Oh, this is my favourite clothes for power walking in the morning. I lived in that last time. And this is my favourite top to go with the trousers, the shorts, either shorts. Um, so I sort of have a theme always. Blues and browns in this case. Right, nothing else to show you there. That's it. That's pretty good, isn't it? For nine days. Still leaves a little room for shopping. Then a jacket, always a must. Big travel bag with all my bathroom stuff in. Little backpack. And the rest is just masks. I'm still wearing masks here. Accessories, sun cream, walking shoes. Oh, and my favourites. Where are my favourite sandals there? I need to unpack properly now without you watching my favourite fit for and my iris necklace and the gold necklace and that's it for now. Weather alert, weather alert. It's really warm and I'm filming this. Look, I've got a bit of sun in England. I'm actually filming this um, before I go to Lanzarote, literally hours before and make my way to Gatwick because movie review, movie review, just in case it's too windy in Lanzarote for me to share with you my latest review from Sky Cinema. Oh my God, it's my first five out of five. It was brilliant. I watched it last night, but Lanzarote is a bit of a theme. Well, the landscapers. I didn't get to see Dune, that amazing novel written in 1965 that's been turned into a film that I kept missing at the cinema. Um, one of my closest friends absolutely loved it and said, I'm sure you'll love it unless you don't like sci-fi. Well, it depends on the sci-fi, doesn't it? Well, let me check his name. Dennis, Dennis or Denise? Villeneuve, I can remember that name because of Killing Eve, Villeneuve. Um, Dennis Villeneuve directed it. It won something like six, yes, six Oscars. But he, sorry to get overexcited, but he is the director who directed Arrival, one of my favourite films ever. I mean, if somebody asked for my top three films, Arrival would be in there. And that's sci-fi. I don't love all sci-fi. Nobody loves all sci-fi. But good sci-fi that's not too bang, bang, bish, 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 bosh, bosh, violent is really up my strata. So I'm delighted to say that this was amazing. And it's now on Sky Cinema. So I didn't miss it. I waited till it was out. Um and then watch it on my big screen at home, which you can see there it is, big screen, last night with all the sound up, all the lights off. So it was like nearly being like at the cinema. Um, it was awesome. I can't really say too much because there are lots and lots of different tribes in it and they're all warring. Um, see if I can find anything. Timothée Chalamet, Chalamet is the lead character. Um, what I loved was just before the movie, there was this little saying that came, came up. It didn't say who from. Dreams are messages from the deep. 
and that came up before the Warner Brothers logo. And I wrote it down immediately. I thought, ooh, that's a rather cool saying. I wonder who said it. Anyway, it's set on the planet of Arrakis. I must get that right. Arrakis, which actually means June. Let me double check that. Yes, June. Um, it wasn't filmed in Lanzarote or Fuerteventura. I have shown you how lunaresque the, um, the whole vibe of Lanzarote is. You could be on another planet for sure. Um, but I also went to Fuerteventura to play in the sand dunes and do the whole dunes vibe, which um, I really enjoyed, which is a little island a hop and a skip from Lanzarote. So how lucky was I to actually coincide it all with, sorry the doors are open because it's hot, um, to, but to be able to coincide it all with my movie choice for April. Now, while I'm here, folks, um, you're not engaging with me. You're wonderful about my skin and any clothes I show you. Shush you lot outside. Um, but nobody's engaging about what you're watching, what movies you've been to. I mean, I love my movies on Sky Cinema. I love my movies on Terrestrial. Um, but I also love going to the cinema and art cinemas and all outdoor cinemas. Um, but nobody's sharing with me what you're watching. So that's why I do this little section. I'm actually really into films, so I really want to know what you think. And if you've seen June, did you love it too? Listen, it was two hours, 35 minutes long and a complicated plot. But when it got to the end, and there will be a part two, when it got to the end, I was terribly disappointed. And it hadn't felt like two and a half hours at all, unlike a lot of other films I've seen recently. So definitely a five out of five from me. Um, in fact, I'm going to watch it again when my brother comes to stay because he really wants to see it. He loves sci-fi. Um, so I'm not going to do any spoiler alerts. I couldn't anyway because you really have to pay attention uh, because of all the warring factions. But it's just, I love it. Loved it. Just wonderful. Costumes wise, well... I tried to copy, now what are they called, the sand people, the desert people, sorry, the Fremen, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, they are the desert people um, on Arrakis, also known as Dune, um, and they're sort of indigenous to that area, and then they come together with all these tribes I can't pronounce, but they all get together against the real baddies, who are after their biggest commodity on the planet, believe it or not, is spices. So it's all about the spices, more valuable than gold or anything else. And that's all I'm going to tell you, except it's um, deservedly won six Oscars. It, the, why didn't he get a director Oscar? Some say he probably will with part two, because that's what happened with Peter Jackson and his Lord of the Rings trilogy. Was it a trilogy? Anyway, um, very worthy of all the other Oscars. The technically brilliant, um, cinematography, stunning. Uh, it was all just absolutely bloody brilliant. But he, the director, deserves an Oscar for sure. So I'm a huge fan of him. Denis, Denis or Denise Villeneuve, big fan. So anyone has seen any of his movies like Arrival, like June, like any others, you can tell me. Please let me know. Right, I will see you in a bit. I'll either be in Lanzarote showing you clothes or back in the UK showing you clothes. Like the rest of Europe, including the UK, halfway through my holiday, the lovely warm temperatures disappeared only in the morning and the evening. So for yoga and stuff like that, because my white tees are in the laundry, I've had to wear this top for yoga, but doesn't, I certainly didn't strip down to that today. And I wore socks on my feet, um, but this was perfect. So you remember the blue top from last year? Very glad I bought that, isn't it? That's a nice outfit. Very happy with that, with the blue glasses.
I'm going on an adventure. Um, as you can see, masks are still obligatory in public transport and pharmacies, but everywhere else are not unnecessary anymore. That only happened this week. Anyway, because the weather's a bit iffy, and I'm fed up with lying on the beach and snoozing and reading, I'm off to Puerto del Carmen, which I last went to about 30 years ago. It was very touristy then, but my lovely godson told me he found it delightful. Several people have. So you can come with me to explore a little bit of the town. Well, my goodness me, what an unpleasant shock. Um, maybe there's something pretty around the corner, but it just looks like a sprawling mass. <laughs> this looks a little bit better and a bit more upmarket. It's a shame it's such a grey day. But this is a nice little promenade. To be fair, the weather's not beach weather. Nice sandy beach, but no sun loungers. More sandy beaches, and I guess this is where all the hotels are. I found a star. My trip was so worthwhile. Oops, more later. Well, because the weather changed so much, that white jacket I showed you, I think I already told you, I had to keep wearing in the morning, going to yoga or Pilates and socks. However, it did give me the chance to explore a bit and you saw that I went to Puerta del Carmen, which I didn't really enjoy, but then I don't think anywhere is exciting when it's grim weather. However, I have, of course, been shopping. What else does a girl do when the weather's a bit shit? Well, I couldn't resist this. This wasn't when I went to Puerta del Carmen. This is from Desigual, so not cheap at all. But how gorgeous is this? I've got my black bikini top. Um, all the cleaners are in next door. Um, these are the smarter shorts that I wear for, you know, walking around where I might stop in a restaurant. But isn't this cute? It's very young, but I think I can get away with it. And it will be perfect for a hot climate like Australia. Right, now you want to see what I got at Zara. Nothing that I showed you in the changing room. But I just couldn't resist because it was all so cheap. It's much cheaper in Spain. It's cheap enough as it is. Not sure, unlike H&M, I'm not really aware of its sustainability. But I will check it out. But how gorgeous is this? I will show you them dressed up on another vlog. But I wanted something that goes with my khaki Lucy Dodwell joggers and my brown joggers. And I think... This would be gorgeous. Well, it would have been a rude not to, wouldn't it? No, you haven't seen my bright green trousers that I bought just before I came out from Mango to go with that amazing coat. But I will show you again next vlog. And this is going to go so well. Not with the Iris Atfil coat, but separately with the bright green trousers. And just a little top. Again, uh, loving block colours, as we all are. So that would go clashy, clash, clash with the bright green trousers. We'll try it and see. Um, I wish I had them here, but I will show you. And it would go very well with brown. I need stuff to go with brown. So that's it. That's all I've bought so far. There are still four more days to go. Oh, I lie. I went to the market. I got a thumb ring. I've been looking for a thumb ring forever. And I got more hippie bangles because I love my hippie bangles. Oh yes, and you're, those of you who are very sharp-eyed might have noticed that I haven't got my usual shells around my neck. 
That's because I've got them caught in the suitcase. So I will um, try and get them out and then put them on with this. Stay right there. Where are the scissors? Oh God. Here it is. Doesn't that look better? That's a real Aussie look now. I'm ready to go back when, God knows. Anyway, hope you enjoyed my new purchases. I certainly enjoyed it. Oh, it's nothing better than shopping. Um, it's only four days to go. So yes, I'll probably catch up with my reading, snoozing, walking 15,000 steps a day, meeting a friend, going to a gig, yes. So it's all go for the next few days. Um, but I'll check in right at the end. Hola, I've been on a bit of a hike. Um, well worth coming. I found a beach that I meant to find last time. I'll give you a quick look. It's called Flamingo Beach. It's a bit of a trek from um, Calle Dorado, where I am. Um, but worth it. No, so worth it. Oh, right on cue. I'm off to Fuerteventura by ferry. I haven't been there for decades. to show you the tan the tan oh it's so nice to have the glow a safe tan i stayed under the umbrella on the beach when i was there 90 percent of the time and factor 50 all over the you know the dodgy bits face especially um and it was awesome despite the weather changes i've come back to england and I'm finding it so cold. So I'm trying to, because of the fuel charges, not put the heating on all the time. So I've got a thick jacket for in the house and for walking Jack, who's there. Can you see him? Oh, let me pick you up. Because they love to see you, Jack. Oh, little old man's getting so old. Say hello. Hello. Oh, I'm so old. He's going to have Whoops, he's going to have a haircut very soon. Right, so quick wind up. I do hope you enjoyed what I showed you in Anzarotti and the new clothes. Next vlog, I will definitely show you what I bought from Zara as, an, as three outfits, I should say. And I'll also share with you what I did in Lanzarote to actually lose weight can you believe i'm the only person i know who's ever gone on holiday and lost weight albeit only a kilogram that's two pounds so you know not a huge amount but you'll see how i did it and still enjoyed carva and chocolate um so that will be next vlog and anything else to say no i think that's it Wishing you in England a very happy bank holiday weekend and Monday. And I will see you very soon. And there's something else. Oh, and please let me know if you've seen June or you're going to watch June. If it's a rotten bank holiday, perfect timing. And don't forget there's a link below if you want to watch the trailer. Um, that's it for now. Mwah, big love. Keep the comments coming. Keep the thumbs up coming. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please spread the word. Our little gang is growing and I'll see you very soon. Oh, and love from Socks the Fox as well, who, when I came home, was sitting by the back door. So thin. I'll do a little video for you. So thin. Um, because she can't leave her cubs. I'm only feeding her because she's got cubs and no husband. So 
I'll feed her up, um, but I've got to get her out of this coming and she's like a pet, so it's got to stop because I've been away for 10 days. I don't know if she ate. Anyway, more of that another time. Mwah.